Alright people, welcome back. More card review. I apologize that it's late. Uh, I'll explain the reason why and everything in Daily Duels, but uh, at least you still get it, right? So, today we are looking at holding arms. And I bet you can't guess what we're looking at on Wednesday. Hmm. <laughs> so, holding arms is a Dark Fiend effect monster. Level 4. Only 500 attack, total 10. Stats aren't incredible, right? Uh, effect reads, if this card is summoned, period. Summon, special summon, normal summon, pendulum summon, whatever. You could target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Uh, this card is face-up on the field. That face-up monster cannot attack. Also, that face-up monster's effects are negated. Okay, so it's a monster version of Fiendish Chain, I guess. <laughs> uh, my big problem with this is that it's not a trap card like Fiendish Chain. If I Fiendish Chain your monster, let's just go ahead and uh, not consider you being able to get out of situation by, you know, transforming the monster into something else. Let's just say you're stuck with that monster. If I have Fiendish Chain on your monster, there's pretty much nothing you can do with it unless you get like an MSTU or Twin Twisters or something to pop it. With this, I summon my monster, your, you know, monster uh, can attack or activate uh, its effect. I only have 500 attack and 1200 booty. You could probably summon something to run me over, and when you do, you're released from this card's, uh, <laughs> you know, capture, so... That's that's the problem, you know. Maybe if his stats were a little bit better, maybe if it was like 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 nineteen defense or two thousand defense, you know, something that your opponent can easily just summon. I mean, you can easily just normal summon attack over this. Like his stats aren't that good in comparison to uh uh to how that is. But wait, wait, wait. There's more. There's more. And it fixes up all of that. Cause yeah, while this while the targeted monster is face up on the field, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. There you go. So I guess it's I guess it is just like Fiend Chain, sort of. And it's just a monster version. Level before too. So you, know, you can make some XU plays once you're done with it, or they do something to the monster. But uh, you know, while the monster's targeting. So the same way you get a Fiendish Chain, go ahead and synchro summon or XE summon or fusion summon and the monster is of course free and then this card can be destroyed by battle by card effects. But until then, that's not actually a bad effect. It's really not. I'm glad that they put that, because they didn't I've been like, well, I'd rather play Fiendish Chain, but now since you said that while it's targeted to uh to face the monster on field, this card can be shrubbed out by card effects? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh of course it can be uh you know, still targeted, but there's not a lot of things that uh uh that don't target. I mean, this this would be pretty much dealing with like a Beals when you summon it, you know. You know, Bills can't be shrubbed out by card effects. And sometimes you have a hard time against them. You pretty much have to dip into your extract to handle it, so yeah, but I guess you know, as long as you use the monster that uh uh, that shoot, that this card's targeting on, that you really don't have to do much, you just, you know, XE or whatever and attack over it, but if you don't use that monster, you're probably gonna have to go ahead and, like, cast out this thing away, so, nah, it's, it's not bad, a monster version of, uh, Phoenix Chain that makes sure it protects itself, not terrible, not terrible, and I like that it says, uh, if this card is summoned, period, so, Pentium Summon, this card's in your graveyard, I mean, keep in mind, it is a fiend, so, you can go ahead and send it to the, and dark, so you can send it to the graveyard with Armageddon Knight, Dark Greffer, all of them, you bell base monsters, uh, Fiendish Rhino, you, it's a fiend, so you can send it to Fiendish Rhino, uh, uh, Fiend Grieving, put it to the graveyard, revive it, you know, because it's when it's summoned, period, so you go ahead and summon the monster, activate the fact, like, Chain, Call the Haunted, you know, my effect, negate you, and, you know, you can't attack, and, uh, this card can't be destroyed by battle by card so, yeah. Actually, I think that, no, it says if, so this card would mess the timing, but I think you had to do it preemptively. Like, is, like if it was Nixon summon, I think you'll miss. Like, if it was, like, they summon Stratos, and they're like, summon Stratos, Stratos, and you go, chain call, and you summon this. Chain call, call, hunting, summon, Stratos, chain call, and you go ahead and stop. But, you know, if it's like a, like a trigger effect, like, you know, activate Tinky and summon bear, and you're like, you know, and summon a bear, chain call, hunting, summon this, or at least summon this, then this, you know, then that would resolve backwards, so, you know, uh, call, or at least go off bear, summon the resolve, then you would go off and be like, alright, an issue, and you can't attack, so. Not, not terrible, not terrible, but I like how this is how it is. You know, versus Talfinish Chain, that can't show a battle of as a monster, that's level 4 too, and the data is the perfect dark fiend, level 4, like, perfect, perfect. Uh, so yeah, you know, so that's it for a card review, like I said, that's late, pile, time to do, so like, uh, on Wednesday, we, we looked at holding arms, on Wednesday, holding legs, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, I'll talk to you, go ahead and comment, tell me what you guys think of this card, and whether you run it, and whether you run it over Finish Chain, like I said, uh, keep in mind Finish Chain, chop card, and, you know, yeah. I thought there's other things turning out the way, it's like an infection, nothing's turning out. I guess you could do the same thing with this, but I guess it would cost you your normal time. Generally, something I don't want to do if you're coming to your hand, so yeah. Anyway, people, thanks for watching.